Hi everyone, Gabe here. Today I wanted to make a video to chat about our IPA Anki deck. This was literally the first product I ever made, so it's kind of neat coming back to it after all these years. So first, what is this thing? This is a set of 121 flashcards in Anki. Like so many of our products created before 2018, you'll need Anki installed in order to make it work. The flashcards are designed to go along with the first three videos I ever created about English pronunciation. They're useful if you fit into the following four categories, all of them. A. You've watched and understood those three videos, or you're going to. B. You speak English pretty well, and you're already really familiar with the sounds of that language. C. You'd like to memorize the International Phonetic Alphabet, or IPA, in depth as it applies to the English language. And D you'd like a set of flashcards in Anki to help you memorize those letters. If all of those are true for you, then this deck is a good fit for you. It goes through all of the symbols that apply to the English language in the IPA, gives you recordings and background information about each symbol, trains you in the various places, alveolar, dental, and the various manners, taps, trills, fricatives, and generally gets all of that information into your head. So. Do you need to memorize the English IPA in this kind of depth in order to learn a foreign language? Like, absolutely not. But I do think it's a super valuable tool, especially if you're aiming to learn more than one new language. The IPA is really powerful when it comes to helping you compare sounds across two or more languages. And the first step in really mastering the IPA is memorizing all of the symbols that correspond to your native language, or a language that you're super familiar with. So if you're an English speaker and you're interested in becoming a polyglot, I think it's a really valuable tool. If that sounds like you, click below and you'll find a link to our store. It's literally the cheapest product that we have at like three bucks. So thanks so much for your time and I'll see you next time.